everybody, it's time to play Common Kiru Question! <laughs> and here's your host, Clytemus Cacklestein! I'm your annoyingly friendly host, Clytemus Cacklestein! Our contestants compete for bargain price, cheesy prizes, and they go home completely confused. Sounds like fun? You bet it is. On today's topic is answering those tough questions. Yussel, tell us what our contestants could win today. Well, Clinimus, today's prize is all you can eat at the Thursday night Chalant Kishka Buffet in Delhi 52. That's right, Jussel. Nothing like a wild Mishmer night in Borough Park. Now for this episode's question. What do you do if someone asks you a question and you don't know the answer? Let's hear what our contestants have to say. Oh, Mendel. I just go with my gut. Why does God let bad things happen to good people? How could you ask such a question? You're talking mamish like a pecoyer, like a coin of a holocaust killer. Well, you know, that's a little over the top, even for you, Mendel. Sorry. Herschel, you want to take a stab at that one? Well, you could change the subject. Why can't men and women sit together in the synagogue? We did not sing any smears yet. Come, let's sing something. Yoim zeli Yisrael, loy Yoim zeli Yisrael, lahay ravesim cha shabbos shabbos men. Well, Herschel, that's a little bit rude. The correct answer really is. This one is going to be a real chiddush for you guys. You ready? The best answer is, drum roll please. I don't know. There was that so hard. Believe it or not, it's really refreshing for a less affiliated Jew to hear someone religious say that they don't know. It's honest and sincere, and it validates the question and their intelligence. And it also gives you an opportunity to follow up the I don't know with, that's a great question, and I'm going to find out the answer for you and let you know. You can actually turn around a potentially embarrassing situation into an opportunity to start a chavrusa. Reach out and invite someone today for Pashas Noah. <laughs> Wow, you're just a cure of genius. That's amazing. I can apply that. I think, I think I'm going to use that tactic. I can just see it now. Why can't my wife be called to the Torah? That's a very good question. I don't know the answer offhand, but I can get back to you with that one, OK? Sure. Uh, why do the men wear those black gangsta hats? I don't know. And I'm gonna get back to you on that one too. <laughs> this food is delicious, but uh, why do we cook it on a crack pot and a blech? I, no clue, I'm gonna, good and back. Why do we have jack-o'-lanterns in all the bedrooms? <laughs> I don't know. What's the deal with the chopped up toilet paper? I don't know. Was Madeline Albright really Jewish? I don't know. What are you Why do you have the white styrofoam skull in the bedroom? I don't know. I don't know. Why do you put jewelry in your mouth when washing your hands? What do you want from me? I don't know. I have to get back to you. I don't know. Where's the restaurant? I don't know. I have to get back to you. Soon? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have guests often? <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess my approach is going to need some work. That's all for our show tonight. Join us next week where we ask that great question. Why don't Chinese yeshivas have American auctions? I'm Clinimus Cacklestein wishing you Kol Tov and Yasha <laughs> All contestants are winners, and we'll leave the studio with a home version board game of Common Kiruv Questions. Has presentation provided by Muncie Trails with the curtain. If you want to be in our studio audience, pick up a form at Eichler's in between the Kittles and the Etrog boxes.